The owner of a wood shop in North Carolina made him a promise 10 years ago. As long as the Bell County man continued to spread Christianity through his work, he would never run out of materials. So now 90-year-old Roy Stapleton receives a package occasionally full of wood, sometimes weighing up to 100 pounds. WIMT's Caleb No spoke with the man who dedicated his life and two rooms of his house to making wooden crosses. It started with seven crosses in 2005. A missionary group needed them for their trip to Haiti. Roy Stapleton made those seven crosses and has not stopped since. It's something that I've done to make the, the cross show again that it's not dead. So it may just be a small wooden cross, yeah. but it's much more than that to yeah. some people. If I just see four people, there's a one cross a day that I made. It's uh, over 100,000 a day. Let's look at that. Since those first seven crosses 10 years ago, he has made nearly 30,000 crosses and tries to hand out at least one every day, sometimes to strangers and sometimes not so much. Again, thanks to your support and best wishes. Sincerely, John Calperi, head coach. When he gets a letter in return, he always keeps it. We wish you all the best. Sincerely, Obama and Michelle Obama. And he doesn't plan on stopping anytime soon. I'll keep making them as long as I can. And ever who tries to knock them out, I'll have enough out there they can't get all of <laughs> He says just seeing a cross every day is enough to remind people why we are here. In Bell County, Caleb No, WYMT Mountain News. Stapleton hands out certain crosses to certain people. Among the many different types, he has one for cancer patients and another type which is dedicated in memory of his wife who died years ago.